It's been a while since I've worn my hair curly to work, but I'm digging it. With this new haircut that I got a couple weeks ago, I haven't worn it curly yet, so that's good. Happy Monday, everybody. It's a neat day, so that's good. Um, I feel okay right now, but I'll definitely be ready to eat by the time it's time to break my fast. I'm gonna try to stick to 10. We'll see how that works. Brought an almond flour blueberry muffin, and then for lunch I brought uh, low carb pork and broccoli stir fry. So I'm excited to try that. For dinner I'm making an Italian chicken skillet. It's gonna be good. Good food day. Gotta work out today. Gotta go fill up my water bottle. So I'm gonna go do that now so I can get to work on everything else I gotta do. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello everybody. I'm home, obviously, as you can tell. It was a good day. I had my breakfast, I had my lunch, and I um, <laughs> had this cookie cheesecake thing that a coworker made and a couple of Rice Krispie treats. But I'm under my calorie count, which is good. I have already inserted in my dinner and I still have like 300 and something calories left after inserting dinner because I already added in my workout for the day. So I am good. Um, originally I was gonna make this Italian chicken skillet thing tonight, but then I forgot that I have all these questions I have to go over for my interview tomorrow with Tail Lift, which is an Instagram channel that um, interviews inspirational people. And so he's interviewing me tomorrow night after work. So I um, need to go over those questions. And um, with that being said, Ian was like, just we'll order something. Don't worry about making dinner. You need to go over your questions. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I'm actually gonna go change and get ready to work out um, so I can get that all taken care of. But I wanted to check in really quick for breakfast. I ended up having the last almond flour muffin, a kiwi, and an apple. And then for lunch, I had the um, pork and broccoli stir fry, which was good. Um, I could make that again for sure and have it as lunch because it was pretty filling and I'm pretty full right now. I feel a little bit bloated, um, to be honest, but you know, whatever. Like I said, we're ordering for dinner, so don't really know what we're gonna have yet for that, but I should have enough calories to cover it because of how much I've eaten today and how much left, how many calories I have left. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good night. Gotta go get that workout in so I can get it over with and start working on my questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. But I will talk to you guys later. I just got done straightening my hair so that I can re-straighten it tomorrow morning before work, basically. Yikes. Um, this evening went pretty well. Got home, did my workout for the day. Um, and then Ian and I ordered dinner from DoorDash. We got a couple different things. I got a buffalo chicken wrap with fries and he got some country fried chicken or something like that. I'm actually under like, 17 calories, 12 calories, something like that. So it's good. Um, I kind of had to guess on how many calories the wrap and fries were, but I think I overestimated just to be on the safe side and it doesn't really matter regardless because I work out today. I think I should be able to get through tomorrow pretty easily. I should keep pretty distracted. I'm gonna have a lot of work to do at work. And then um, tomorrow evening I'm doing my interview with Tail Lift. So I was able to go through and answer all the questions that he sent me and kind of think a little more in depth as to how to answer them correctly. I'm excited about that. I'm also really nervous. Um, you know, just, just kind of talk and get my story out there and I don't know, it's nerve wracking. I can do this all day vlog with you guys, but having somebody else ask me the questions to my face, I feel like I'm gonna be really nervous. I hope not. We'll see what happens So It's gonna be tomorrow evening. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow night. Tomorrow actually is month uh, 17 of fasting for me. I'll be going into month 17. How crazy is that? I don't think I'm gonna weigh myself. Um, tomorrow for sure, because I eat today. So if I do weigh myself, it'll be the sixth. And um, I might try my new skill that I got. It's supposed to document muscle um, weight and body weight and water weight and stuff like that. And I haven't played with it yet. So I might do that. Um, on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I forgot what today is. I can't believe it's only Monday. It feels like it should be later in the week by now, but it's not. I'm going to hit the set, go to bed, and um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy month 17 of intermittent fasting. Today is a fasting day. 
tonight I'm doing my tail lift interview. Super nervous about it, not gonna lie. <laughs> and I'm um, gonna get to this day. Hopefully I won't have to eat. I have my water bottle, I'm gonna go fill up. I have coffee. If I can just focus on those two things, stay really distracted today, which I think I'm gonna be able to, then I think I should be able to get to through the day fine. I hope so anyway. Don't wanna break another fasting day. I'm in such a crappy mood right now. It took me an hour and 45 minutes to get home because it decided to sleep rain today. So I'm stressed and I'm irritated, but I picked up my new glasses, so that's cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I'll update you guys later, but right now, I think I'm gonna turn on Netflix and just watch something to cool off because I'm so irritated right now. talk to you guys later. I am not gonna lie, I definitely thought about breaking my fast a couple times tonight. Not because I was necessarily hungry as much as I was just wanting to eat. But I didn't break, I stuck, so that's good. I was able to get through a whole day, plus month 17 of intermittent fasting, the day of month 17, you know, anniversary or whatever, without eating, which is good. Makes me feel a little bit better about the situation that I have been in the past couple weeks with breaking my fast and stuff like that. So, yay. Right now we are gonna go to bed because uh, we're both pretty tired or at least lay here in bed for a while and just think about sleeping. It's 8.14 now, so it's really early, but um, we're both pretty tired. So I'm excited to go to bed. I meal prepped tonight. Got my breakfast figured out and my lunch. I'll show you guys tomorrow what that is. We'll talk about it anyways and um, we'll go from there. Tomorrow will be the last day of this vlog, so we're halfway through the week already, which is nice. I'm ready for the weekend, but I'm always ready for the weekend. We know this, don't we? I'm gonna get off here, and I will talk to you guys later on tomorrow, you know, that day. Good morning, everybody. I was anticipating the roads to be a lot worse than they were this morning, so that's good. They weren't that bad. So I'm at work super early. For usual anyways, I got here about the same time and um, got a gate to this day. So um, for breakfast, I brought cottage cheese and berries. And then for lunch, I'm doing a veggie bacon LT and ham wrap <laughs> with a sourdough wrap, some veggie bacon, tomato, lettuce, mayo, and a package of ham. And then um, I also brought broccoli with that and an orange and then for dinner we're doing Italian chicken skillet so it's gonna be a good food day I'm thinking I should be able to keep pretty full today um, after everything that I eat and be good for tomorrow but we'll kind of see what happens from there um, I have to work out when I get home from work too so that is kind of the update for now when we get off here we can start this day and I'll talk to you guys later I am home early I got off work at 2 and came home because the roads are getting bad really slick I just slid it out of my driveway like I went to pull in I slowed down to pull into my driveway and lost all traction and just slid right back out into the street again it was kind of scary I had to go down to the end of the street turn around and kind of slide my way back into the garage but that wasn't fun I have no idea what tomorrow's gonna be like but it'll probably be worse so I haven't really doing anything but you could definitely see ice and stuff on the trees and when I let Bowser outside just a second ago he was sliding all over the porch so Fun, fun times living in the Midwest. But what can you do, right? Uh, today was good for breakfast. <laughs> um, one of my coworkers actually yesterday gave me a donut, so I had that. It's 220 calories, which isn't terrible. And then um, I ended up having cottage cheese and berries, which was really good. Package of Splenda sprinkled on top. For lunch, I had my um, veggie bacon lettuce tomato wrap that had ham in it as well. It was kind of soggy though. It's like the juice from the tomato or something kind of made it soggy. So I had to like, you know, blot it with a paper towel before I ate it. Um, broccoli and an orange. And I actually did stop on the way home because I've been craving french fries. So I grabbed a bag of french fries. Um, 15 french fries is 130 calories. I'm baking them in the oven. They look like this and I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna lie because I'm also going to make myself 
a small little milkshake so I can dip my fries in it. Has anybody done that before? Because it's like the best thing ever and it's delicious. So um, I got this and then I got some of the Halo Top ones. I got a peanut butter and jelly one, which is like the flavor, the seasonal flavor. And then um, Enlighten, I've not tried this ice cream before, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I'm gonna try this. A half a cup is 100 calories. And there's four in here, so it's 400 calories, little thing. Um, and then I got a peanut butter cup one because this girl loves peanut butter cups. These pints are so low in calories. Um, I already have my dinner added in. And with dinner and my exercise added in, I have like over 600 calories left for the rest of the day. Um, so I'm good to do something like this and I'm pretty excited about it, I'm not gonna lie. After work out here, after I do this, I'll do it before dinner, of course, tonight. And um, just kind of play my evening by ear and see what happens the rest of the day. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off here so I can put these ice creams in the freezer. And I will talk to you guys later on today. You won't stop licking me, will you? So I was actually just thinking, I didn't talk about this earlier in my vlog, um, about today or this morning, basically. Um, I did weigh myself and the scale didn't change. It actually went up a little bit, but I am 100% positive that that is muscle. Mostly because my measurements didn't change and I've been noticing um, differences in my body physique. Basically, I'm getting stronger. I can see more definition in my muscle. I'm basically just gonna read you guys what I put on Instagram this morning because um, I've had so much positive feedback and I'm so thankful and grateful for everybody who has been um, so supportive of me through this whole journey. So, let me start. The phone is under the camera, so uh, if I'm looking like this, you know why. As of yesterday, I hit 17 months of intermittent fasting. And starting into this next month, I have some goals I really want to focus on. One, I'm not going to focus on the number on the scale anymore, which you guys know has always been my biggest defeat and downfall. This morning I weighed myself and I hadn't lost anything, but gained some. I know 100% that this is muscle. My measurements have not changed, but I can tell my body's getting stronger. I've been maxing out my reps and my workouts and can see more definition in my body's muscles. Instead of being lean, I will be strong and I'm okay with it. Which I never really wanted to be lean to begin with, I think. I think I always wanted to look more strong. My body type is just built to look strong. I know my original goal was to get to 120 pounds, but if I continue to lift and exercise like I have been, I don't believe my body will allow me to get to that. I do have a little bit more fat that I would like to get rid of. Um, I'm not really sure if the amount of loose skin around my midsection will tighten with time. It very well could but that's gonna be part of my journey and I will figure it out along the way. Um, number two, I'm gonna be more lenient on myself. This past month I really struggled with hunger because my muscles were growing and I wasn't fueling them enough. My plan is to, if I have to, on my fasting days, either one meal a day or 500 calories. This is still a form of intermittent fasting and I'm glad to continue doing it. So I'm gonna continue doing intermittent fasting. I just might be eating more on my fasting days instead of trying to struggle through them if I need to. Um, three, I might look into doing my own version of fitness coaching. Just help out any new fasters. This will however take time and I have no idea where to start. So if you're interested, let me know. I don't really know where I would go or how I would start that. Um, it's all up in the air right now. It'd be really cool to look into though. Um, to be honest, I was really nervous to tell you guys about number one, but I know with the support and encouragement of everyone here, that fasting will continue to be my way of life for a while, if not to lose weight, but to maintain it as well. My goal is to show you guys how someone like me can go from 236 pounds to a healthy and strong individual with a combination of intermittent fasting and physical activity. So I wanted to update or end this vlog on that note because I completely forgot to mention anything about it earlier today and didn't think to mention it this morning. Um, I just kind of want you guys to know where I'm headed and uh, what all is up. We all knew eventually I was gonna stop doing intermittent fasting, but as of right now, I don't plan on it. I would like to continue to do it to at least maintain, um, even if I do 500 calories or if I do one meal a day, um, or even if I decide to fast two days out of the week instead of every other day. We'll see what happens whenever um, I get closer to 
my goal physique and stuff like that. Like I said, I still have a little bit of body fat in my stomach area, which will of course be the very last thing to go, but that is what I'm working on now is trying to get rid of that. And then, um, I don't have a lot of loose skin. I get asked that all the time. Do you have a lot of loose skin? Do you have a lot of loose skin? I don't have a lot of loose skin. Everything is tightening up really nice. Um, and I've had a couple people tell me what it's called that causes that, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. It starts with A. A. U. P. Something. <laughs> and um, I think that is helping a lot, but um, I do have um, stomach fat still and loose skin around my stomach that I think might tighten up the um, closer I get to my goal physique, I guess. So. I guess we'll see what happens guys. Stick with me for the ride. Isn't this the most appealing angle to laying back like this? I'm so chill with you guys, you know this. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. I've been ready for bed for a while now. And I wanted to go ahead and sign out of this week's vlog. I feel like this one was a little shorter than normal. Um, but I got most of the information out there that I needed to get. My tail lift interview was moved to Sunday, so that's exciting. Um, the weather of last night was not good, and then tonight it was bad, and I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be, but we're not gonna talk about it. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. Thank you for sticking by me and supporting me. Everybody's so nice. I can't believe how kind everybody is. I think that means the absolute most, for sure. And, um, I will catch you guys on the next vlog.